And there we have it. We are off at the Templars Minor Chapter House on turn 22, which I think is, is as early as you can on the Imperial Campaign. So now that we have been offered this, we can accept this, and that will establish the guild in our settlement. So now if we go to Edinburgh, we've got the Templars Minor Chapter House. And uh, we should be able to recruit the Tem Knights Templar, which we can. Hello everyone, Hoplite Mike, back with another video. In this one, I'm going to talk you through exactly what you need to do to be able to recruit the Knights Templar. To be able to recruit the Knights Templar, you need a minor Templar's chapter house, also known as a guild. And there are many different guilds on the game, but it's a Templar guild that we want. To get the Templar guild, we need to be offered it. We can't just build it like any other building, we have to be offered it. And to be offered it, the requirement is amassing 100 points for that specific guild, being the Templar's guild. So that raises the question of how we get these guild points then. So there's two ways to get guild points for the Templar's guild. Well, there's three ways, but you, one of the ways you can only do once you actually have your first guild. There's two ways at the start of the game to get your first Templar's guild. And that is, if you have a general with five or more chivalry stationed in a settlement, that settlement will gain five points per turn that they are stationed in there. So for example, if we go to our list scroll, you can see all your generals and your faction leader. They will all have a set of stats. The middle stat is chivalry or dread. Chivalry, chivalry being the opposite of dread, essentially. So we can see right here, we've got King Malcolm. He has four notches of chivalry. And Edmund Canmore has also four notches of chivalry. So what we want to do is we want to get one of these generals up to five notches of chivalry and then station them in a settlement for 20 turns. That will give us five points a turn. So we'll get to 100 points within 20 turns and then we'll be offered the minor Templars chapter house and we can recruit the Templars from there. So the way that you increase your chivalry is by winning battles and occupying settlements as opposed to sacking or exterminating the populace and also releasing war prisoners instead of executing them. So what we're going to do in this in this playthrough is we're going to get Ed Edmund Canmore up to five notches of chivalry and then we're going to station him in Edinburgh to amass those guild points and you'll see that we'll be offered the Minor Templars chapter house. So we're going to be able to get, get the guild, the Minor Templars chapter house, in about 24 turns, which I think is as, is as early as you can in the, in the Imperial campaign. So... I'm just going to amass an army in Command me. March. North Scotland here. I, my liege. So Edmund Canmore is our general that already has five chivalry. So I'm going to move I, the rest of the forces Come under on. that general. I, joining our forces. And we, in the next time we'll go up to Inverness. Now, what's also important about being offered the guild is that in order to be eligible to be offered the guild, the settlement that you're offered the guild in has to be a city or a fortress. So if we go to the building grounds here, Edinburgh is currently a large town, so we would not be eligible to be offered the guild, given that it's only a large town. We would have to upgrade it to a minor city to be offered the guild, assuming we had enough points. If we go to the castle tab, we would have to be a fortress to be offered the guild. Now, the important thing to note here is that you can still amass guild points even when your settlement is below city level or below fortress level, but you won't be offered the guild until you have upgraded to a city or a fortress. And that's important because even though Edinburgh is only a large town, we can still be building up guild points towards that Templar's guild, even though we're not a city. So, we're going to move to Assault Inverness, and we'll move to the next turn. Leading the men with honour, sire. We shall hold them to siege, sire. I see. Okay, it's now turn three, so we can assault in Venice. For the 
honor of Scotland, we march to battle. I'm going to auto resolve for the purposes of this video. Average victory. Okay, so importantly, once we take the settlement, we do not want to sack or exterminate the populace because that will not give us chivalry. We want to occupy the settlement. And straight away, you can see a trait increase, so he's got plus two chivalry from occupying the settlement. And we can now see he's got the required five notches of chivalry. So now that he's got the required notches of chivalry, we're going to move him back down to Edinburgh. And we will now be amassing five points per turn that Edmund Canmore is stationed in the settlement because he has the five or more chivalry. So as well as having as building up these guild points, the other requirement that we talked about before was having a settlement that's large enough. So I'm also going to build the land clearance to increase the population growth and get to the city. I'm also just going to move out King Malcolm and Prince Edward just so that it doesn't distort the chivalry notches. So we're now in a position where if we pass turn now for 20 turns we should be offered the Minor Templars chapter house in 20 turns. So let's go for it. Okay, so now we're on turn 9 and Edinburgh has reached the required population threshold to become a city, so I'm going to build the stone wall and then we're going to pass turn again. Okay, so we're now into turn 20. Edinburgh has been upgraded to a minor city from building that stone wall. So in the next couple of turns, we should be offered the minor Templars, Templars chapter house. And there we have it. We are offered the Templars minor chapter house on turn 22, which I think is, is as early as you can on the Imperial campaign. So now that we have been offered this, we can accept this and that will establish the guild in our settlement. So now if we go to Edinburgh, we've got the Templars Minor Chapter House. And we should be able to recruit the Knights Templar, which we can. So there they are. And if we pass turn, We should have Knights Templar in our garrison, which we do. So there they are. Knights Templar recruited on turn 23. So you obviously can get to the higher stages of the Templar's Minor Chapter House. If you go to the building browser, it should be in here. Knights Templar. So, if we get to the higher stages, that essentially gives us the ability to recruit more Knights Templar and extra experience. And then if you get to the headquarters, that gives you more available units and more experience. And the way that we get to these higher levels is basically just to keep building up those, um, those guild points. So I did mention at the start of the video that there are two ways to build up guild points at the start, and then three ways once you have the guild. So the way that we discussed in this video was having a general or governor stationed in a settlement with five or more chivalry. The other way to build up the points is to join a crusade. If you join a crusade, you will get plus 25 points in all settlements. However, if you abandon that crusade, you will lose 25 points in all settlements. And the last way to build up points now that we have the Templar's Manor Chapter House is to actually just recruit the Templar units themselves. Recruiting the Templar units themselves will give you plus 10 points in the settlement you recruited them in and plus one point in every other settlement. 
So now that you've got the Templars Minor Chapter House, it's actually fairly easy to get to the next level because you just recruit loads of Knights Templar, you get 10 points for each one you recruit, and then you should be able to reach the higher tier of Chapter House, being the Major Chapter House and the Headquarters. Now importantly when you're doing this, if you get offered the St. John's Minor Chapter House, which you might do because the requirements are similar, you want to decline this because if you accept a Hospitaller Knights Guild in any one of your settlements, you will not be offered the Knights Templar Guild in any other settlement. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful and give you some good tips and tricks. Um, if you did enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.